the way we make things doesn't capture the true environmental cost of their production and the polluting carbon emissions they create. The government, as part of its international agreements, has set climate change targets to reduce greenhouse gas emissions over a number of decades. To reach the targets and better reflect the true cost of things to the environment, the government has a scheme for encouraging behavioural change. The New Zealand Emissions Trading Scheme, or NZETS, uses market forces to drive this change. The NZETS puts a monetary price on each tonne of carbon emitted, forming a kind of currency that can be traded. These are called units. Producers who emit carbon have to buy units to cover their emissions. Foresters who plant trees that absorb carbon are given units by the governments to sell. The government supplies units to the NZETS market each year. It sells them to emitters for cash at auction and also gives them out for free to some emitters that would otherwise be competitively disadvantaged against companies that don't face an emission cost. The price is set by supply and demand. A low number of units in the market means emitters are bidding for only a few units, increasing demand. This encourages businesses to lower their emissions through innovation and development of low emissions technology. To help meet our climate change targets, the government allocates fewer and fewer units into the market each year. Think of it as a game of musical chairs. Each chair represents a unit. Over time, the government provides fewer and fewer chairs to buy, sell or trade to the market. Businesses are therefore incentivized to find ways of reducing their emissions. For example, switching their coal boiler for electric. Fewer emissions will be created in the economy, moving New Zealand to a more climate-resilient future.